Hi there. Hey everyone. Happy Ask a Conservator Day. I'm Roxy Sperber. I'm the Clues Associate Conservator of Paintings here at Newfields. I'm just examining a beautiful little painting under the microscope here. I first knew that I wanted to be a conservator when I was um, interning with an art history program in London as an undergraduate. And one of my colleagues told me that I should do a job where I got to touch the art. That really rang true. It's a pretty long road to get to be a conservator. You have to do an undergraduate degree in science, fine arts, or art history, generally, and then you go on to a master's level program, which is three to four years. It's really impossible to say how long an average work of art would take to conserve because all artworks are made of different materials and they need different things from us. Some works just take a few hours of our time and others can take up to a few years. It just depends on what they need. The last the most important part of the conservation process is to house the works well. So that's what we call preventative conservation. As you can see here, we have paintings in frames with glazing in front of them to protect them. The best things we can do as conservators is maintain a stable relative humidity and temperature in the museum environment. In order to be more environmentally friendly, we've adopted a seasonal drift where we change our targets to be a little bit cooler and um, less humid in the winter and warmer and more humid in the summer. The thing we most want to avoid are very sudden changes in relative humidity and temperature because that can damage the art. For particularly vulnerable works of art, such as a work of art on panel, we'll build protective housing within the frame so it can have a slight buffer to even the smallest environmental change. My favorite painting in the collection, now that is a hard question because I could never choose a favorite child. However, since I have these lovely panels in the conservation lab at the moment and I'm studying them for the Clues Collection catalog, I can tell you a little bit about them. These beautiful panels are by the Italian artist Agnolo Gatti and they date to the latter part of the 14th century and they are from a beautiful Italian altarpiece and are beautiful examples of early Italian painting.